Rush is Adobe's first all-in-one video app that allows you to edit and share videos quickly and easily from your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Rush includes the power of Adobe Pro Tools, and within it, you can edit, color correct, record and clean up audio, customize animated titles and graphics, and publish to social media all in one tool. Just like Premiere Pro CC, Rush includes built-in access to professionally designed motion graphics templates, and you can also find hundreds more in Adobe stock. Just select the template you want, customize to your liking, and your project is nearly done. Rush is for the mobile and fast-paced video creator. Your Rush project is saved in the cloud, so when you make an update on one device, those changes are reflected across all your devices through automatic project syncing. Your mobile app version of Rush has all the same features as your desktop app, so you really can do everything on a tablet or mobile phone as you would on your desktop. So what's exactly included in Rush? When you first open up Rush, you are given an interactive step-by-step -step tour of how to create, edit, and share your very first project so you can get started. And from there, you will also be able to capture or import media to start your first project. And once you've selected all your media, you can edit in your timeline by trimming clips or rearranging them to build your story. With Rush, you can make the same video in all the different social aspect ratios, portrait, square, or landscape simply by clicking a button. It's pretty awesome. And after you have all your video clips in place, you can also add your own style with things like customized motion graphics templates, transitions, and some unique color filters. And the last step before you finish the project is audio. In Rush, you can record a voiceover directly in the app and then also use the audio panel to make it sound clear and professional. And in Rush, you can do more than just export your video. You can export and share your video directly to your favorite social media channels using Rush's brilliant social presets and publishing features. Rush gives you the power and flexibility to pump out content fast and frequently. So what are you waiting for? Try Rush today. In this video, you will get a tour of the Rush interface. When you open up Rush, you will see all of your current projects available in the project browser. So whether they were created on your mobile device or on your desktop, all of the projects will be synced to the cloud so you can pick up where you left off from any device. You also have the option at any time to turn off this syncing from this project browser. To start a project, simply click on the blue Create a New Project button. And from here, you are taken to the media browser, where you can select the media you are going to use in your project. This can be video, images, or audio. And it's important to note that media is selected and added in the order that you select them, so you can preview how your project will be laid out in the timeline at the bottom of this screen. So in a sense, when you're selecting this media, it can help you build your story from the get-go. Of course, you can always reorder these clips in the next stage in the editing timeline. Lastly, give your project a name here and then we're ready to begin editing. Now this is your editing workspace. On the left, there is a blue plus button and here you can add more elements such as titles, more media like videos or music, or here you can even record a voiceover. And below this, you will find a box icon. This will open up your project panel. And here you will see all the media you selected for your project. And you can hover over this media to scrub through and preview it. And when you select the clip, you can also add it to your timeline by hitting that blue add button. And once you're done with this project panel and want to close it, just click back on the box icon and it shrinks away. And also up here is the home button. And if you click on this, it'll take you back to the project browser. And this is where you can select another project that you're working on, or we can go back to the current one that we're editing just by clicking on it. All right, so now let's go over the preview monitor and controls. So here we can actually move this blue dot and you will see a preview of your video at the time code. You will see that as you move this blue dot, it will also move the playhead and the timeline and it will indicate the exact time code where it's at. 
And next to this time code, you will see another number, and this is the entire duration of your video. You can also use these playback controls to move within your video. And also just a reminder, if you hover over any button, it will bring up a friendly tip that describes what the button can do and also shows the keyboard shortcut if there is one. Next to the playback controls, you can hit this full screen icon to make your playback monitor full screen and then tap it again to minimize it. And next to full screen is the loop playback button. Click on this if you want your video to play again after it's finished and continuously loop. Now next to this button is the most important. You can change the aspect ratio. After you click it, you can change the video's orientation. Right now it's landscape because Rush sets the aspect ratio based on your source media, but you can always change it to a different one. So for example, if you click on square, it will automatically change your orientation to a square aspect ratio. And then you can choose portrait if you want to create a vertical video, let's say for IGTV. So this is one of Rush's most unique features that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to change it back to landscape as this will be for YouTube. So now that you have a tour of the workspace and your project is set up, it's time to move on to editing in the next section. You will find your editing and timeline tools on the bottom left of the screen. You can move your playhead to a point you want to cut, and if you hit the scissors icon, you can split that clip into two separate clips. And if you need to duplicate a clip, you can select it, then hit this duplicate button. And if you ever need to delete anything, select it, and then just hit this trash icon. It's also super easy to rearrange clips inside of Rush's timeline. Just click and drag clips to rearrange them. And as you do this, the clips respond by automatically shifting over. And by dragging the orange handles at the end of each clip, you can shorten or lengthen a clip. So if a clip has more video in it, you can drag it out to reveal more of that video clip. Or if you want to cut out some of that video, you can drag it to the left. And there are a couple other timeline tools that you should know about. For example, if you click on the expand audio icon in the lower left, it will reveal the audio associated with your video clip. And when you do this, you can shorten or lengthen the audio separately from the video portion. You can also see that Rush has placed icons on some of the audio clips here in the timeline. So what Rush has done is it's identified what type of audio automatically that you have in your timeline. For example, you might see a music icon or a voice icon. So this will enable you to easily identify what type of audio you have and optimize it so it sounds better. And below the expand audio icon is the track controls icon. Turning this on will reveal the track controls. So this lets you lock, mute, or even hide entire tracks in the timeline. And Rush supports up to four video tracks and three audio tracks. And at the very bottom here, you can move this bar to scroll through the timeline quickly, and you can grab the circles on the end of this bar so you can zoom in and out of the timeline. So once you're done rearranging and editing your video, you can then use Rush's refinement tools on the right to add finishing touches. If you click on titles here, you can choose one of Rush's awesome built-in title templates to use in your video. In part four, I'll be going into depth on titles. So let's move on to the next item, transitions. You can drag one of these preset transitions between two clips to create a clean fluid transition between them and below transitions are color presets. You can click on the clip that you want from the timeline and then select a color preset of your choice. And at the bottom, you can control the intensity of that preset with this slider. You can also have further color customization control by clicking on this edit tab. Then next is audio. So the audio tools here let you control the overall clip volume if you need to and there's lots of advanced controls as well. So for example, if you have a music clip in your timeline, if you select it and under advanced, you can choose auto duck and the music volume will then automatically lower against any other audio types like voice that you have in your timeline. So you can move the slider 
to adjust how much you want the music to duck in volume. And if you look closely after the process is done in the music track, you can see there are shadow dips so indicating the points at which the music automatically ducked. So this is extremely useful for helping you edit fast and getting your video out the door. And the last refinement tool here are the transform tools. Here you can control the position, rotation, and scale of the clip just using these sliders. But if you click on the clip in the monitor, you can actually make adjustments just by moving and resizing the blue handles. And under advanced, you can use the crop tools to crop the top, bottom, left or right of the image as you wish. So that is your introduction to editing and refinement tools inside of Rush. In the next video, you will learn how to take your videos further with customized titles. In this video, you will learn how to add and customize awesome titles in Rush. In Rush, there are two main ways to add titles. The first way is to go up to the plus icon and create a default title that you can edit. Or the second way is trying out different styles by clicking on the title templates in the panel on the right. This panel here shows you a bunch of different built-in professionally designed title templates that you can customize, and some of them are animated. So let's start with the first method. Let's go up to the plus icon and create a default title. You can double click on the text here in the monitor to type out your own title. And then from the edit tab under the title panel on the right, you can make further customizations. For example, you can choose your favorite font and style. You can also make adjustments to the size using the slider. And if you want to have the option to adjust the character spacing, the line spacing, or even the baseline shift, these sliders are here so you can do that. And lastly, you can adjust the color fill, you can add an outline if you want, or even add a drop shadow to your title. And also in the timeline, you can edit the title here, just like a video clip. You can trim the length by shortening or lengthening the orange handles on either end, or you can even move the clip to an entirely new video track. If you want to scale, rotate, or change the title's position, you can manipulate the title directly in the preview monitor, and you can drag a corner to increase the scale or you can hover on a corner to rotate it. To undo any of these moves, just hit Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. So this is one way to add and customize a title. The other way is to drag and drop a title template from the title panel's browse tab. From the title panel, you can actually search by keyword to find some of the templates that you might be looking for. You can also star them as a favorite. Once you find the one you like, you can drag it into your timeline and you can play it back to see how it looks with your video. So today is... Then you can double click on the title to edit the text and you can see that the elements automatically change size and respond to the text size. This is called responsive design and it makes editing fast and easy. You can also change the font type as well from the edit tab and you can change the size and color. Also from the edit tab, the other elements with the template have their own set of controls. So if there is a background shape, such as a rectangle, you can change the color parameters of that element to match your own branding. And of course, there's more than just title templates available in Rush. You will also find elements and colorful transitions, which you can drag into your timeline and modify the colors to fit your branding. So with Rush, you really have a ton of flexibility when it comes to title and motion graphics. You can choose from hundreds of professionally designed templates, which are fully customizable, so you can really make them your own. So that's all for titles. Let's take a deep dive into sharing to your favorite social channels. In this video, you will learn how to save your video to your devices and share directly to your social media channels. In this first release of Rush, your social media destinations include YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Behance, and more destinations will be added over time. By including these destinations here in Rush, you can upload directly to your social media channels and eliminate that extra step of having to go to each social platform individually and uploading there. So to add to YouTube, just turn on that destination so it turns blue. Then here you can log into your YouTube account and specify which playlist you want to add the video to. 
And here you can also enter in your own unique video title as well as a description. You can also add in your own unique tags to boost your video's discoverability. Then from there, you can set a custom thumbnail from a current video frame in your video, or you can upload your own custom design that you created in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Spark Post. And if you need it, you can even schedule your video to upload on a specific date or time. Rush will automatically choose a default preset that's optimized to make your video look great on whatever social media platform you're publishing to. But you can also open up the advanced settings and choose other export presets that you prefer. And then you can hit export to share your video to the world. But don't worry, you will have one more chance to preview your final video. And then you can relax, kick back, and have a cup of tea, and Rush will export and handle the upload for you. Now I want to show you how you can open and take your projects further using Premiere Pro. So that way you can harness the power of pro editing functionality. So how does this work? Well, first you need to create your project in Rush, whether on mobile, tablet, or desktop. And once you have started a project, just make sure that your project sync remains on for that project. And so by default, your project sync is always turned on. But if you turn it off, you will not see the project available to open up in Premiere Pro. So now let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And here from the start screen, you need to click on Open Premiere Rush Project. Then you will see all of your current and synced Rush projects in this screen. And if for some reason you aren't seeing the projects that you expect to see, just make sure that your computer is connected to the internet and also triple check to make sure that your project has syncing turned on. So then just identify the Rush project that you want to open and just click on it to open it up. So this new project will automatically be saved in your documents folder and all of the media files connected with the original Rush project will remain in the original location. So now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, you can begin editing your project further. So for example, here in Premiere Pro, you can easily create speed ramps to your video. So if you ever watch videos that have really cool slow motion, you use time remapping to do that. To do this, let's just right click on the clip to enable time remapping keyframes. And then what we can do is we can use the pen tool to draw a ramp. And what we can do is we can bring the second dot down over time. So we can create a ramp that goes from normal speed to slow speed. So let's just play this back. And now you can see it goes from normal speed at 100% and then we dropped it down to go to slow motion. Another tool that you can use to really take your edit further in Premiere Pro is using adjustment layers. So from the project panel, you can create an adjustment layer and you can drop this on top of all of your video clips. And then you can apply some advanced color correction and filters from the Lumetri color panel here in Premiere Pro. And everything that you apply to this adjustment layer will be applied to all the clips beneath the adjustment layer. So opening up a Rush project in Premiere Pro is just a one-way path. Edits will not be synced and reflected across the two applications. And currently you cannot open up Premiere Pro projects inside of Rush. So that's all there is to the workflow between Rush and Premiere Pro CC. And it gives you the flexibility to create fast and awesome video projects in Rush on mobile or desktop. And now you know that you always have the option to open it up and take it further with Premiere Pro.